Boys, in this episode, I'm going to show you how I set up the stamp steel rockers. So, um, if you have a bit of a look down here, basically, I've gone through, I've measured all the fucking uh, lifters, um, you know, put the fucking assembly lube on the bottom, all ready to go in, got the guard plates, we've got um, all the push rods. Now, the customer wants the all the stamp steel rockers, you know what I mean? So, if you have a bit of a look at this engine, this is, um, yeah, this is an E49 build, you know what I mean? And uh, original E49 block, the whole lot, CNC head. Now, we're taking 80 fair off this, if you know what I mean. So, usually when you take that much off, you go to roll the rockers and you can just adjust them to where you want them. But I'm going to show you how you can still run the stamp steel ones, and it's fucking cheap and easy to get away with it, you know what I mean? Boys, yeah, just before we go any further, I just want to say, bear with me, fucking. I'm in the shed with the tin roof, and it's fucking on and off raining. I've been out here for a couple of hours waiting for the motherfucker to stop so you can hear me talk. Yeah, you know I mean? I've got the old rocket outside here. Um doing fuck all cop and a flogging by the rain but I wanted to show you um, what I'm doing here do you know what I mean with the whole fucking rocket setup and this and that so um, yeah what we'll do is we'll kick into it and we'll see how we go and um, hopefully it fucking works out let's do it alright so basically if we kick it off from here right uh, heads on everything's on ready to fucking put the rockers on you know what I mean lifters are going to go in all that sort of shit push rods and then we start putting the guard plates and rockers on but um, what I've done is I've gone and marked the balancer again if you sort of have a bit of a look there it's, uh, well, that one's two and five. Um, that'll be one and six, and then three and four's underneath there. And, you know, like the other videos, when you mark them, well, the head's off. Um, so if, you, if you're not sure about that or you don't know how to mark it, go back on the other Roller Rocker videos and you'll see all that. So um, once you're up to this point here, then we'll carry on like this. Let's fucking do it. So what I've gone and done is just got some engine oil in there and uh, just going to put it down all the lifter balls just with my finger, you know what I mean, and go around and just poke it in and out and you can kind of feel it's coated everywhere. So um, what I'm going to do now is start grabbing the fucking lifters. They've all been measured. I've looked at the dome on top, you know what I mean, look at the other videos too with the with the rocker ones and you'll be able to see how I do it and sort of test the, um, make sure there's a fucking, uh, on the top, of, on the bottom of the lifter, there's a nice fucking dome. So all that's been done, checked everything, caliper them up, nice. So we'll start to fucking uh, drop them in. Bingo. And uh, as we go, fucking, um, we'll make sure it all fucking happens. Go there. Let's see if this one goes a bit more. Yep, just like that. All right. So what I'll do, right, is I'll just go along and fucking um, and put all these in. And then I'll fucking get back to you. Yeah, as you can see, like I was saying, I've gone and put the lube all on the bottom that goes on the cam too. So no oil on the bottom. <clears throat> At the minute, there's no oil on the sides, but there's oil in the fucking, in the bore. So as it goes down, I'll just coat the cunt fucking mint, you know what I mean? So that'll be her. Put her in. Oh, fuck yes. Yeah. So I'll go and do that, and we'll, and we'll get back to you in a second. All right, so they're all in, right? All the, all the lifters uh, went down nicely. So now I'm just putting a fucking little bit of uh, engine oil in each one of these. Just so when the push rod goes down, there's um, something for it to fucking lubricate it, you know what I mean? Because all of these lifters are empty now, there's no oil in them. That's straight out the box, and um, they're a little bit spongy, and I'll show you what I mean. What I've done here is just go on and grab the fucking push rod, right? And I'll just, uh, I'll just throw it in fucking this hole here, come straight down. But if you have a bit of a look, what I mean by spongy is that's just resting on the lifter. And if you have a bit of a look here, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm pushing that in and out. You know what I mean? And that's what they're like when you first get them. Because there's no oil in them. Once it pumps up with oil, you would be pushing and you can't fucking push it down. But right now, she's spongy, just like that. You know what I mean? So, um, anyway, what I'm going to do is go ahead and put all the fucking push rods in. And uh, I'll get back to you in a second. Boys, we're back. Here we are. All the push rods are in, as you can see, just like that. Now, um, if you have a bit of a look, I'm just going to set all the guide plates up there as well. So they're all sitting there, uh, where they're going to be and how they're going to how they're going to um, go in. So fucking, that's it. Now we move on to starting to put the rockers down. Let's do it. See, so we are. There's the rockers. Now, first things first. What I've gone and done is just got me little me little oil bottle and just gone like that. A bit of oil on each fucking thread. Not too much, just a little bit. Just so as it goes in, it's fucking love and life. Yeah, you know I mean. Now we'll start to sort of sit them up here. And uh, get them roughly in their spot, and then we'll fucking take it from there. Let's do it. Boys, there they are. All the rockers are on, but they're just loose as fuck now. Do you know what I mean? But they're in their sort of spot, roughly where they're going to be. See, before I actually um, put them on properly, or even just after I sort of finished, see, I put that in there. It's like a, that's, that there is a little brush, and it's got all the fucking um, the ARP lube on there. 
So um, I went between between in there. I can't really show you fully with fucking one hand here, but just sort of lifted it up and fucking uh, and just hit the cunt like that. You know, the bottom of this and the t and the top of the valve. So they've all got a little bit of lube to go off now. And um, now we'll take it to the next step. Let's fucking do it. Here we go, boys. So now what we'll we'll start trying to do right is um, set the first two up. You know what I mean? Bang. So cylinder number one. So here we go, <clears throat> back to like the other videos, when you've seen I put the marks on the balancer, etc, you want to turn it over, turn the engine over, until the intake opens all the way up, and then once it closes again, you'll see the mark down here, it'll come up, and then line it up with the fucking zero, then you got it then, you know what I mean, so at the moment, it looks like the intake's starting to open, so um, also, if this feels a bit, uh, you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, Go check out the other rocker videos and um, and just go through them. And by the end of it, you'll just understand what the fuck I mean. You know, so anyway, what I'm going to do now is turn this over. I'm just looking. What we'll do is we'll look down here. See that starting to close? We're looking at number two there. We're looking at this one. It's starting to close. Yep. So then we look back down here at the balance. It should come around one and six. See, that one there is one and six. I didn't mark it because that's the actual timer mark. So what I'll do is go like this all the way. Boom, to zero. Now that cylinder there is right to fucking tighten up. And if you have a bit of a look, you'll sort of notice, can't really see with this light on this one, but it's the, the lifters are about the same height. Do you know what I mean? They'll be about to see, whereas you look at this one, this is uh, cylinder two, they're, they're way off. This one's up, this one's down. But uh, when it's a top dead center on the fire and fucking, on the fire and stroke, bingo, you'll have them about the same. That'll all line up. And they're ready to fucking rock and roll. So I'm going to start coming down on these, and I'll show you what I'm looking for. So here we are, right? Like I was saying, all the rockers are on. Now, if you have a bit of a look over here at these ones, and you sort of suss out the push rods, right? I've just been coming down on it like this. Like I said, coming down on it like this, tightening this up, and just and just see how I can turn the fucking push rod real easy. You just go down, 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 keep going down. See, it just stopped. Now I do the same on the other one. There, that's it there. So now that if you go any further, that would just spring the, the rocker down like that. So you see it's moving because of the have a look at this one. See it's pushing in and out because that's all the like I said, no oil in the lifters yet. But that's right on the fucking just touch and see. Let me go like this, back it off. Right there. So now what we want to do, right, is usually usually what happens when you've got a standard head and it hasn't been shaved, right? You can just tighten all them up now. Bang, doesn't matter. And they sit where they're going to sit, then the oil in the lifters take up all the slack and it works out right. All you want to do is swing around to here. If you have a look in here, you can see the gap you got to go. That's quite a large fucking um, gap. So by the time I screw this down, time I screw this down all the fucking way, that'll be way too much preload on the lifter. You know what I mean? And why that's happened now is because I've took 80 thou off this head. So 80,000, 2 mil, you know what I mean? So 2 mils come off the head to get the comp up. And if you have a look there, so the whole head's come down, which then makes it feel like the push rods are sitting up, which then leaves the rocker sitting up. Do you see what I'm saying? So um, instead of going, oh, fuck, if you want to get out of it this way, you save yourself a couple of dollars, you go, oh, shit, you know, fuck, what am I doing? Maybe I need roller rockers, bang. You can go and buy them, yes, you can, whatever. You adjust them up there like I showed you in the other vid. Or you can go, oh, fuck it, I'll run a stand of rockers, but we'll shim them up. Come over here and I'll show you what I've got. See, now I've just gone down the nut and bolt joint and uh, said, give me 24 high tensile washers. This cost me like fucking, what, like two bucks or something like that. You know what I mean? So in this case, what we'll do is we'll just grab two of them like that and uh, we'll come across and just sit one in there in that gap and see what it takes up. If you have a bit of a look, it's still not really enough because that'll still be too much preload by the time we screw it right down and bottom out the, the rocker bolt. So we'll grab two of the suckers, put them in there, sit them there like that, and we go, oh, here we go. That's a fucking perfect height, you know what I mean? So by the time I screw this down tight, the rocker, the rocker fucking bolt, that'll give just a nice amount of preload on the lifter, and that'll be fucking set. So in this in this case here, you can go for roller rockers, they're fucking good, don't worry, roller rockers are better than the standard ones, but if you want to run these, you can save yourself a lot of fucking money by just going to get two bucks worth of washers and doing exactly what I'm showing you. Yeah, I mean, this is all in a hydraulic fucking cam setup, so um, what we're going to do now is I'm going to take these two out, 
and set them up with these washers. As we can see, it looks like it's gonna work and then we'll fucking get into it and I'll show you how it's done. If you have a bit of a look here, right? I've put the washers under the first one, but I haven't the second, so you can see the difference. And they're both kind of set. So now what I'm gonna do is just, see this push rod's turning easy on this one. Now what I'm gonna do is just start to tighten this up a little bit, right? And, and watch where the push rod stops. So we're going tighter there, right there. That's stopped, right? Now if you step back a little bit, the push rod's just touched. Now, from this point, this is what we're looking at. The fucking ratchet's facing that way. So, by the time it's tightened, right, this is how far you go. See, that's about where it will stop. So, we're, so what we've got is from there to fucking there, preload. And that, that's fucking mint. And that's doing its thing. Um, and what'll happen is once the oil goes in, it'll take up that slack and that'll be fucking perfect. So, um, yeah, that's her. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and take this one off, do the same thing, bang, boom, and then I'll just go along and uh, get each one the top dead center and do them all just to make sure every one of them's fucking mint. All right, let's do it. Now, the other thing I wanna quickly tell you is too, I'll put the washers under here, but I've actually backed this one off and that one off so they're sitting up a little bit. Because what I wanna do before I go for the final tighten, I'll just get a little bit of oil, lube, whatever you wanna do, just, just put it down there like that. Just so it goes around everywhere, and that'll be um, that'll be fucking fine. And as you're tightening it now, it'll just spin all the lube into its spot. And on first start up, it'll be fucking, it'll be right then. So that's it. I'll just go down now once again. Fucking push on. That's just grabbing there. Let me see. A bit more. All right. Yeah, and I'll fucking ratchet set up. Go from there. Let's go fucking there. From there. About fucking there. So yeah, that's them now. They're set. This front one is set. Lube in there, as you can see. And she's uh she's right to rock and roll. So now what I'll do is um, look back at the fucking, these two here now, and I'll wait for this one to come up. I'll keep turning it over. See that one's up. And this one's way back down now. Now she's sort of bottomed out, and then you swing across to the balancer. It'll be two and five, yep, here she comes. Line that up with fucking top dead center like that. Now we go ahead and um, suss these two out. Let's do it. All right, so here we go. We've got the lube in the top, two washers on each. We're coming down on it, just feeling it, just feeling it. You know what I mean? And we'll go like that. Yep, right there, she's grabbed, right? So now I'll just go again. Bingo. Do the same for this one. Come down on it. You feel it just fucking touch about there. Bingo. So them two are fucking done now. And that's her. So we've we're fucking we've got four done, two cylinders. Now we've got cylinder three to go. We'll watch these again. We're looking at that one, which is the intake. So we'll watch it. We'll keep turning it over. She's come up. She's up. She's coming down. Down. She stopped. Now we look back at the balancer. Should be three and four. Fucking half. That's her. Pull the fucking top dead center. Right there. Now we'll go ahead and do them ones as well. Pull them out. Like that. Two washes on each. Just like fucking that. Bingo. Just like fucking that. Kick them off. A little bit of lube down there so she loves it. All right. Go down. This is the interesting one for you. Check this out. See? Now that one there, 
that's gone tight and it's still still loose right we'll try this one all right see they're still loose and this is tight so now we'll back her off see this is why this is exactly why i'd rather go through each one and suss them out and go oh because we could have just put them all in and fucking went for it but this is what happens you, if you do it properly and go through each one at a time boom 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 you get to see this you know what i mean because that'll rattle and fucking you'll be going what's wrong with my engine so what we'll do now is we'll pull one of the washers out suss it out and that might be fucking spot on for it let's do it right here we go so now we've got one washer in each and we'll start going down and seeing what it wants to do all right that's grabbed just there yep all right so we'll see how far we got to turn just there and go straight with the engine turn around we've got about nearly half a turn on that one that one's cool whatever all right we'll try this we'll uh we'll go down keep turning the push rod bit tight to do by hand, so I'll just ratchet it down until I feel it stop. All right, see that? Now we're tight again with one washer, and it's still loose. See what I'm saying? So we'll back her off, and we'll see how we go. We'll take the washer out and see if it makes any difference. Let's do it. Oh, fuck yeah. All right, we're back. No washer going in for the first time again. We'll see how far it fucking takes us. Come up, just wait till this push rod fucking grabs. There she is. And go back a little bit and feel it come up on it again. Right about there. Now we'll just see how far this goes. One, that's one full turn and a bit. It'd be nicer to back it off to about half a turn. So um, what I'll do now is pull this out and go measure these washers. All right, so here we go. I've got it on number three and four again because I've turned it back over, looking at cylinder number four now. Um, I've got two washers in this one, and we're going to go down again until she just touches, which is about right there. Then we'll see how far she goes from there. We've got like a fucking about an eighth, a quarter. We'll say a quarter of a turn, which is close to zero preload. Um, a little bit more than zero, which I actually don't mind anyway. Um, so, so far we've got pretty much halves. One took a full one, and that one's an eighth. I mean a fucking quarter, sorry. And we'll see what this one is all about. So we'll back her off. Right there. Let's go like that. Half. One. So that's a one. Full fucking turn. Even looking at this, you can kind of tell when you think to yourself, this is that 80 thou come off clean. And you think to yourself, with the factory, when they don't even shim them this way or that way, how far off are they, eh? Do you know what I mean? Like it's, um, yeah, it's fucking amazing. All right, we'll go ahead and do number five, and we'll keep the ball rolling. Let's do it. Boys, we're back. Look, um, this is what's going to happen, right? I've gone ahead and done them all now. You can see it's uh, all the lubes in all of them. I've gone over them all again. Suss them all out, fucking double check, triple check, this, that, the other. Um, and what's happened is I'm not real fucking happy with it. See, I'll show you this. <coughs> I've gone and wrote down, so basically cylinder one, they're both on half. If you know what I mean, if you sort of look at this. Cylinder two, you've got a quarter, you've got an eighth. Cylinder three, it's one full turn down. The other one's half a turn down. Four, it's on zero. So when it fucking locks up, she's... She's just zero fucking preload. Yeah, I mean, then we've got one and a quarter turns in preload. This, that, the other. You can sort of see it all the way along. So, um, basically, right, <clears throat> this has actually worked out really fucking well for this video because it gets to show you now exactly what the fuck's going on here. So, I just sort of write it down so you'll be able to sort of read it sort of clear. Usually what happens is, um, like when I've done the first one, you can normally just about go, oh yeah, that one's on that, yep, two washers, bang, put two washers in all of them and go. And they'll all be on about half, because I've done this a fuck a few times now. In this case, it's kind of flipped the script on me, and um, just when I go to film it. But the thing is, if this is what's happening, and I don't film this and show you how I correct it, then fucking you might come across this later and go, what the fuck, it's not like in the video, do you know what I mean? 
So um, so this has worked out alright. So basically now it's kind of up and down a little bit, and I'm not really fucking happy with it. I'm I'm spewing. Today's been a fucking waste between the the weather. Um, it's freezing. I found this little fucking bullshit heater. I got these fucking lights going, just facing any which way, just to heat the fucking the shed up a little bit. It's a fucking nightmare. Um, and she's getting late now too, so I'm spewing. I wanted to finish the video off and everything to be good, but I can't let it go like this. So, right, I've gone and got these washers right, which I always get. I've got more down in the fucking bottom there as well, because I've done it, you know, so many times now. I found some more up in the fucking other shelf there, because I've done it before again as well. Anyway, it always works out. So these washers, sometimes there's some thinner than others. So normally I'll go through, just measure it, whatever. It's, um... If, if I'm doing this or whatever, you'll sort of notice that some of the washers you get aren't always the same thickness. So I thought I might be able to get out of it that way. Anyway, these are all fucking pretty much bang on to each other, which is how they should be when you buy the cunts. So I'm going to wait till tomorrow. <clears throat> I'm going to go down, see if I can get the exact same sort of washers, uh, maybe even in the silver or whatever it comes to, um, and thinner. You know what I mean? A little bit thinner, so then I can mix and match. Once I mix and match... I'm going to try and sort of shoot for, um, see, half, I can deal with half, I'm happy with half, happy with a quarter, I'm happy with an eighth, you know what I mean? I don't want anything really under an eighth, and I don't want nothing over a half, or, or any, like I say, anywhere near a one full turn. So, either side of a half, give or take that little bit, I'm pretty fucking right with it. It's just when you start going one and a quarters and all this shit, it just is too much. I feel like it's too much, too much for me anyway. Um, I like to actually set it quite close to fucking zero preload like as in just fucking touching it which is around about the eighth or quarter you know what i mean half's half's fine though um sometimes you'll put them on you go oh yeah get that extra half and she locks in all right cool we'll call it that and she runs all right but yeah so this is what's happening yeah so if you can get me point um it had to happen when i fucking filmed it but like i said it's actually turned out to be a blessing in disguise because it would be weird for me to go, yeah, yeah, fucking bang, this is how you do it, which is how I always do it, and it goes fucking smooth. It would have been done hours ago, you know what I mean? But uh, between the rain, this and that, next minute fucking this shit ain't lining up and that, it's um, it's actually worked out all right because if you run into this trouble, you'll go, oh, yeah, I've seen it on the video and got the other side of washes and this and that and fucking preload, blah, blah. <coughs> you should be able to correct it. So basically what I'm thinking is... If you ever go to attempt it yourself, maybe you get um, so many washers like that and then ask them for thinner ones as well. Then you got a little mix and match and you can play around with it there a little bit. Um, but anyway, this this is a thing for sure. It's just fucking uh, brought me unstuck a little bit at the minute. But um, yeah, like I say, I've done it fucking plenty of times. Tomorrow I'll go down there if I can get the washers. Fucking, um, yeah, it'll be on. And it's still, yeah, what it'll cost you, fucking five bucks total. Or you go to roll the rockers and none of this happens. Yeah, you know I mean you get a better rocker and none of this happens. But this is one of those things that um yeah, it's just that you can do it fucking at home, everything's good, you can do it on a budget and still have some fucking fun. Yeah you know what I mean? So yeah, alright boys, I just want to share that one with you because um I couldn't I couldn't fucking get up there going, yeah, yeah, fucking she's done, man. And the, the cunts are all fucking twisted inside out like that. That's not showing you the right way to fucking do shit. And I'm not happy with it, so it's not fucking happening like that. Um, Alright, so <coughs> we'll pick it up here again tomorrow. And fucking, um, and we'll keep the ball rolling. So, yeah, what I'll do now is just fucking push this engine away. Boom, back it down in that corner. Bring the car up and fucking go inside and fucking have a coffee. Alright, we'll talk again tomorrow. Fucking fingers crossed you all works out. Oh, fuck yeah. Boys, here we are, back in the shed again. Fucking um, couple of days have passed, got over Mother's Day, all that. So uh, here it is. I've gone and got the um, some other washers. Now, if you have a bit of a look, I'll just take these out of the fucking bag. We've got one of them. One of them. So if you have a bit of a look at the thickness, you can see. See the difference? So um, what I've gone and done right, they're just stainless ones. So they were like $4.50 for 24 of them. And uh, it's all up, fucking, it's around about five bucks worth. Anyway, I've gone and, um, if you have a bit of a look, you can see, see in here, you can see the stainless, stainless, and I've, I've gone through a few of them. I'm up to number five and six now. So I've already done them, just to have a quick idea which way it's going to go. Now, I'll show you the last two. Yeah, I mean, I'll do it with you, and you can suss it out. But, yeah, just a difference in thickness, 
was uh, like literally fucking 10 minutes, five minutes it took me to do them, bang, it was that fucking quick, you know what I mean, because now we can mix, mix and match, we can either go two of these, or fucking one of them, and one of them, or fucking one of them only, or whatever, you know what I mean, you can mix and match now, so if you have a bit of a look here, what I've gone and done, <coughs> they were started at half, so I didn't have to touch them, I'm sort of shooting for half, you know what I mean, got that one to half, got that one to half from there, that was one, got that to half, that was already half, whatever, that was at zero, got it to half, this one here is like just on fucking half, it was sort of a quarter, played with it a bit, got it to about a half, that's why it scrubbed out there, so now we'll do these, and we'll try and get them around about a half, and uh, and we'll be fucking set, so um, yeah, this is it, so maybe in the future, normally I'll just get either one of these, whatever they got going, and, I'll, and it'll just work straight out fucking easy, but um, like I say, in this one here, a bit of a hiccup, <coughs> but it's good that uh, you get to see it, you know what I mean, and um, so basically when you go down there, just get fucking 24 of these cunts, um, and 24 of them, and you should have it fucking all within the ballpark, alright, so we'll carry on from here, I'm going to start swinging the balancer over this, that, the other, and um, and setting it up for number five, and we'll try and get that to fucking half two, let's do it. Right, boys, here we go, just looking at these rockers here, just waiting for this one to start coming back down, I'll start turning it over, alright, she's coming down, down, look for uh, two and five, here she comes, fucking bingo, alright, let's start for real. One, do this one. I'll get one of these ones, I'll put it on, and we'll see how we go. See if it gets us uh, roughly where we're fucking going. Oh, fuck yeah. Feel this. Stops just there. So now, start off at that, so, look that. Half a fucking turn, mint. That's fucking perfect, that one. So now we'll go to this one. Undo it. Come across to this, then I would. One and one eight, so we should be able to put one of them on again, and that should bring us straight back to where we want to go. About there. We'll pull this thing across. One up right. Alright, there we go, we're coming down on it. Push rod stops there. See that? Alright, now, start off here. Very close to half, that's pretty much half that one as well. So I'm gonna leave that there, cause what we're gonna do is talk them up and give them that little bit more. That's fucking me. Fuck yeah, I'm happy with that. All right, so now, we're looking at uh, number six, which is, uh, we'll wait for the intake to come down and then we'll look back at the balancer. So I'll turn her over, down, she's going down. Down, she's stopped, look at the balancer. One and six, which is the original top dead center. All right, fucking there, she'll do it. So right, we'll back this one off. Pull her off. Cut. Right now, if you have a look at this one, one and a quarter. So what we'll do is we'll grab another one of them, just the same as we've done for one and the eighth, and we'll see how we go. All right, whack her on. See where she fucking takes us. And down on it, the push rod's still turning nice. Stops about there, see? Right fucking there. You gotta stop it. I'll just double check. Alright, now what I'll do is go up 
like that. Put it exactly there. Like that. That's about half a turn. Fucking me. Now you can see how quick and easy this is going. Do you know what I mean? Back this one off. This is how it sort of normally goes. Just fucking piece of piss like this. Just we didn't have the right size washers for the discrepancy of this fucking uh, head. It could even be the discrepancy in the fucking push rods being a little bit longer than the other and this at the other. Yeah, you know I mean, so we'll suss this out again. See, so number six is one and a quarter too. So we're going to grab another one of these washers and put it on. We'll see how it goes. See, if we had to, we could go two of these washers, mix and match, whatever, take that one out. Whatever you got to do to get it there. So roughly what you got to do to get it there, you know what I mean? So now we've got a little bit of a choice. So we'll come back down. See where she wants to stop. See how it Uh, so basically, I'm just going to go ahead and say they're all fucking half. Right, we're half. 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 See what I mean? So now, we're, even if they're just a bit before and after, we're right in the ballpark of half. So that's fucking, um, that's meant. And you can see how quick that was. Do you know what I mean? Like, that was fucking easy. So, so yeah, back to this again. Buy two sets of washers, one thinner than the other. And you can mix and match. Just have another look at that. You can see the difference in the thickness. You know what I mean? And uh, and that made life so much fucking easier. So uh, this is pretty much fucking all set. And you can see how much lifter you got there. Do you know what I mean? See that? And that's all for the oil to pump up and do its fucking thing. So um, otherwise you stop and you go, you, you got nothing. You know what I mean? This is, this is right there. Fucking, yep. Yeah, fucking nice one. I got the old torque wrench out, she's set on, I'm going to go to 35 foot pounds, you know what I mean, on all of these, that's 35, whether you can see it or not, I'm not too sure, but I'll, um, I'm going to start pulling these up at 35, and we'll see how we go. seen go a little bit further can be a little bit of the uh the washes the washes squashing up if you know what i mean so between <coughs> and then some of it too might be just a little bit of fucking bolt stretch so um either way what's going to happen right is i'm going to leave them fucking right there and you still see a fair bit of movement there do you know what i mean even though they went a bit more and that'll be um that'll be fucking fine for what's going on that's that's cool i'm happy with that that's no worry so um all right, let's screw this fucking bitch together. I hope that uh, all makes sense, you know what I mean? You can understand what's going on. And um, and yeah, like I say, just just get the two different washers, work your way around it, and that'll be fucking mint. All right, too fucking easy. Let's rock and roll. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. 